In some news that is bound to leave your jaws drop, a 42-year-old fisherman in Cambodia with just a hook and line caught the world's largest freshwater fish near a remote island on the Mekong River in the Stung Treng area. The fisherman caught the 661-pound or, or approximately 300 kilograms giant stingray fish, which me measured about 13 feet in length. A team of scientists from the Wonders of Mekong Research Project helped tag, measure and weigh the ray before it was released back into the river. For several months, the research group has been in contact with local fishermen, asking them to get in touch if they landed a significant catch. The group has helped with two of the large giant freshwater stingray releases in the recent months. The fisherman who caught the record ray was paid market price for his catch. When you see a fish this size, especially in fresh water, it's hard to comprehend. So I think all of our team was stunned. The fishermen themselves said that it was the largest fish that they'd ever seen. So I think the whole team was excited, uh, uh, surprised, and also this catch is hopeful. You know, these big fish, it's not just a record. The fact that the fish can still get this big is a hopeful sign for the Mekong River, which recently, you know, the Mekong River is facing a lot of challenges. So this, the fact that these fish are still getting this big was, was a good sign. And now to talk a little more on this gigantic catch and also to find out a little more of the angling community in Nagaland, we have with us joining us over the telephone, we've got with us Monbemo Nguli, who is also the General Secretary of the Angling Association of Nagaland. Thank you so much, Monbe. Hi, can you hear me? Thank you, thank you, I can hear you. All right. So Monwe, I mean like, just listening to this news, 661 pounds or roughly around 300 kilograms, they caught the world's largest freshwater fish. fish. I mean, even in Nagaland, uh, do you have any idea as to what was the largest fish caught in Nagaland? Yeah, that's a huge case. That's a life, I mean, it's a, it would be a record. As coming back to Nagaland, the largest case would be around 15 kilos at the most. All right. By angling. 15 kilograms, yeah? 15, 15 kilograms, yes. All right, Munwe, I mean, okay, uh, could you please tell us a little more of the angling scene in Nagaland and what is uh, the Angling Association of Nagaland and could you give us a little history on the organization? Okay, there is uh, Anglers Association Nagaland was formed in the year 2013 by a few like-minded anglers all right. having the same passion okay. and bringing together all the concerned anglers for a purpose under one umbrella yes. with a motto where passions meet conservation. Yes. And uh, the headquarters is presently at Timapur. Okay. And we have already affiliated to All India Cape Fishing Association, India. And now, uh, over the years, we have uh, some district chapters yes. in Mogokshan, Woka, Tiongshan, joining us in this. All right. And the main purpose of uh, this Association is, uh, like I said, uh, coming back to the uh, foundation, it was just a few like-minded persons having the same passion. Yes. But our more focus is on creating awareness and at the same time conserving the pollution in Nagaland, that is, over the river bodies in Nagaland. At the same time, to discourage the ill forms of fishing in the form of uh, chemicals, electricity and explosives, which yes. have been used the river bodies in Nagaland. All right, Munbe, I mean, uh, whenever the, Angli uh, the Anglers Association, ho they hold competitions, so the fishes that the anglers, the respective members catch out of the hook and line, is it released back into the river or is it a uh, trophy? Yeah, uh, in some cases we do anchor, especially the uh, fishes which are very endemic and at the same time fishes like your uh, masher. Yes. Which we encourage the anglers to do catch and release. 
All we right. have started this uh, program of catch and release, even in the ponds also. All right. Oh, that that sounds really good. Uh, and also, Monbe, what are yes. some of the what are the most common types of fishes you get? I mean, like this in this particular instance, this fish it's a stingray, a giant stingray, and it was caught in the Mekong freshwater river. But out here in Nagaland, what are some of the common fishes that anglers normally they catch? Normally in Nagaland, uh, we are mostly in bone angling. We haven't gone to the rivers. Yes. So like uh, most of the catches are Indian major carp. Oh. And mostly the uh, indigenous fishes uh, or the fishes which are wild fishes are being caught from this uh, Doyang Reserve at yes. Boka. Okay. Mostly of this uh, Bashir family. All right. Or right, Monbi, I mean, uh, the, Ang the Anglers Association of Nagaland, they seem to be pretty busy with uh, some competitions being held last month too. So what's in store for the Anglers Association of Nagaland? And also, if there are interested members or people interested in angling and really want to be a part of the Anglers Association of Nagaland, how does one get access to becoming a member in the AAN? Yeah, do be a member, especially uh, we are not uh, having any guidelines for becoming a member okay. but then uh, it needs a passion yes it, it, at the same time it's a sport also yes now anglers association nagaland has an open uh, registration to get registered by just paying a sum of 200 rupees all right like the same for the district chapters okay. where they have to get the registration from the district and then they have to get affiliated to end and over the years we have been uh, Organizing a competition in the form of a Nagaland State Angling Competition, yes. which is very much ahead of us, will be held in the month of July or of course. Yes. And then the second event is the Hornfield Angling Festival, yes. which coincides with the Hornfield Festival of Nagaland. All right. Thank you so much, Monbe, for giving us all this info, and thank you so much for taking out your time and speaking to us at Hornbill TV. Most welcome, most welcome, right. and thank you so much. Yeah. Mon Bemo Muli, who is the General Secretary of the Anglers Association of Nagaland, and like he said, the, even the Anglers Association of Nagaland has started the catch and release program just to conserve fishes and the environment. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Hornbill TV. Goodbye.